Bradley's all messed up. And you're a big fella now. Is that what you wanted? What do you want, Clancy? Oh, I don't know. Just talk, maybe. Why? I mean, we never talked before. Well, that was class distinction, Les. I could never buddy up with you before, because I was a big fella and you weren't. But you're sure a big fella now. Now we're equals. You know, Max Cole once told me he never stuck his neck out for anybody. He says you've got to walk away from trouble, unless there's a big guaranteed payoff. Now, if you'd have hit Bradley a little harder, maybe bust his head on a bedpost or something, you would have been stuck with a felony. Five, maybe ten years for assault. You'd be an ex-con, and Alan would be grown up and forget about you. That would have been your payoff. Alan wouldn't forget. You listen to me, fella. Alan and the others like him will take sympathy where they can get it. They'll milk you dry, and then they'll forget about you. That's not their fault. It's just the way things are. When's the last time you heard from your aunt? Seven. Eight years. You think you're ever going to hear from her again? What's that got to do you with just it? Just answer me. Will you ever hear from her again? No. No, I don't guess I will. Looky. Max and me didn't begin to think straight till we realized something. If your own kin don't care about you, why should you stick your neck out and care for somebody else? I don't know what you're looking for when you get out of this place. But you won't get it. You go sticking your neck out and walking into trouble like you did with Bradley. I'm not looking for anything. Except maybe a... Well, a, a chance when I get on the outside, that's all. Well, that's all everybody wants. But you don't stand a chance till you learn to call your shots like Max Cole and me. Max Cole, Max Cole. Can't you think for yourself? Max Cole was a ragtailed hardhead who left this place and made a million bucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you got to do, all right. Make a million bucks like Max Cole. It ain't easy. You got to be ready to step in your best friend's face. Boy, I got to get a hold of something. I don't want to be just another bucked and bum. Well, maybe you won't be, boy. You just listen to what I tell you. Mm. Now, don't blab this around. Max Cole's coming down here in a few days, and I'm going up to work with him in his trucking outfit. Or maybe I'll speak to him and give you a few tips. Hey, I thought you wanted to be a chemical engineer. <laughs> yeah, so does everybody else. I can't even remember the formulas. But I'm gonna make Max think I'm giving it all up to work for him. <laughs>